Welcome to another Wasted Moment with Gord, where I put the lotion on my skin, or I get the hose again. Mmm, lotion. It's time for another Deconstructed Swear Words. But what word should I deconstruct? In memory of my previous Wasted Moment, I will deconstruct the word jackass. Because, well, I don't have an ass. See? And memory generally deals with things that have died. So I could say this is in the memory of Matt and his girlfriend's relationship. But I've already devoted a piece to them. But I guess I can give them the further nod. In the hypothetical situation where they're both diseases, Matt would be the flesh-eating disease. But why the flesh-eating disease? Well, Matt's a bit of a sponge, and he tends to feed off those around him. Now you may be wondering what Matt's ex is. Well, that's pretty straightforward. She's the flu. Why is she the flu? Well, that's pretty simple. Everyone gets the flu. It's passed around from person to person. So don't worry, Matt. You'll probably catch the flu again. But back to dedicating things to the memory of something. I guess it will be the memory of my ex-girlfriend, who recently passed on. I say that she's passed on because, well, you can't live without a heart. And that hoe didn't have one. Like Matt's... Ugh, never mind. Zing! Well, my ass hat friends, today I'm examining the asshole word jackass. Actually, while I'm at it, and this being the third deconstructing swear words, I guess I should kick this puppy into overdrive and do three words at once. And so I will do ass to the power of three. <laughs> do ass. So for those with the benefit of flashed photography, I give you the trifecta of swear words. Asshat, jackass, and asshole. Taking a look at the word asshat, we can break that down into ass and hat. Hats are far from being a bad thing. Hats are used to keep the sun off of your brow, rain off of your head, and can also confuse your enemies. Why is the hat to the side? Because it's just like my sexuality, not quite straight on. That applies to people who actually wear the hat to the side. You can also throw a hat in the case of odd job. Hell, even kill with it. Ow, you jackass! Hmm, perhaps I should jump to the word jackass. Breaking down jackass, you get the words jack and ass. We'll get to ass in a little bit, so let's get to jack. People like to jack up, jack up their car, so when they have a flat tire, they can immediately switch for a good one. Heh <laughs> flat. You can't jack the flat. But be warned. Jack is not always the good thing to be. My cousin's name is Jack, and he's not the sharpest knife in the drawer. One time, he stole a fish from a supermarket. One thing led to another, and he had to leave the scene, and the police were called. They found him crossing a river with the fish in hand. The officers questioned how he got the fish. He said he caught it in the river. It probably would have worked out better if the fish wasn't wrapped in plastic. Jackass is generally used in the following sentence. Fish is a jackass. What an asshole. Hey, asshole. That reminds me. So if we're going to extract words from asshole, we can break that down nice and easy. Simply put, as a society, we love holes. We love sticking things in holes, glory or otherwise. But just as much as we like putting things in holes, we also like taking things out. Holes can be used to extract joy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 46 inches around. Think about it. But the premier word of this whole deconstructing swear words is ass. Asses are important because without them, people will continue to eat until they explode. Asses also tell you when you're looking at the front or back of a person, unless they're a butterfish. They also indicate where you should stick and stir if you're into that kind of thing. Jackasses, asshats, and assholes are what the women are into. So it's very important for the furtherment of humanity. And those assholes will then leave them. That's when you can sweep in. You know, when they're in the 30s, desperate for attention. You know, easy pickings. Of course, they become dumbasses for not going for you in the first place, but you can also be an asset for not trying to put on the moves earlier. So being an asshat, jackass, asshole, or dumbass is a good thing once you peel away all the layers of shit. Remember, if you like this video, give it a five. Favorite it, subscribe, comment, and tell the website you want it on the front page. And for this episode, I'm sending a call out to Julia Roberts. I just watched the net, and I think you're kinda hot. Girls and computers. Oh. And that's why I'm asking for $50,000, so I can pay for an awesome date with you. What? What woman wouldn't pay for a piece of this? Jesse James is a jackass. Come get a gourdgasm instead.